This episode is brought to you by Indie Film Hustle TV, the world's first streaming service dedicated to filmmakers, screenwriters, and content creators. Learn more at IndieFilmHustle.tv. Now, you, you talk about champion, uh, you championing filmmakers. Can you talk a little bit about what John Daly did for you as a champion? Because we all need a champion, especially in this business, if we can get one. I dedicated the book to John. I mean, the book for me it took three years to write off and on. It's just a lot of work. I have to tell you, it's like making a movie in its own way. And uh, I take writing very seriously in the sense of I just not scribbling out. I did this. I did that. No. I'm looking for themes in in the in the book. The themes of growing up, themes of going to war, the themes of relationships with your parents, your mom and your dad, your grandparents, the history of that time, what was going on, World War II into Vietnam. And I, I think there's a lot of consequences at, out of World War II. I was born on the, on the right on at the end of it in 46. And my mother was a French citizen. Uh, my father met her on the street in, in Paris during the liberation and as an officer in the army and married her and uh, brought her back to the States in late 45, early 46, pregnant. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it's I'm a war baby, you'd say, right? Mm -hmm. French, French, French. You know, my mother was an immigrant in her way. Uh, but John, um, but John really John, is is also an immigrant. I mean, I've always done well with immigrants. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, the American uh, movie business was not was was just not letting me get my stuff done. It was so frustrating. By the time I made The Hand, I was even with the success of Midnight Express, I was kind of a black sheep. People knew me as outrageous, somebody who broke barriers, who was trying to say things, do different things, was fighting for this Vietnam script that everybody said, hey, yeah, it's well written, but we don't want to make it. It's not going to make any money. So, I mean, there was kind of the guy who was one of those guys around that was known as difficult or not that I was crazy, but I was, uh, but I really was upset that things were not going. I wrote a script called Born the Fourth of July and I platoon in both in seven, in the seventies. Right. And neither one could get made. It was just frustrating because here they were making Apocalypse, Coming Home, Deer Hunter, nice films, but nothing to do with my experience on the on the on the ground over there. They were both myth, the mythic films, uh, Coming Home, very realistic, but about a woman in a marriage in L.A. The other two were gigantic films, uh, but they have nothing to do with reality that I saw. Hmm. I can say that you know Michael Michael Cimino, I worked with him on Year of the Dragon. Uh, a big vision, Napoleonic vision, but uh, reality, not so much. Uh, and so Francis, also the Godfather. Uh, anyway, uh, but John was the one. But John was the one that kind of. Well, it, I, it's it's just that I was a out. I was kind of dead in the water. I may I wrote Scarface, and you know, although it's acclaimed as a now, at that time it it had a hard road. It was I had fight with the producer. And uh, he badmouthed me and around the business. And frankly, it was filled with obscenity and violence. And people thought I was crazy. Kinda. I'd done Midnight's Breast, Scarface, uh, Conan the Barbarian. These were tough, violent films. So people saw me as some kind of the hand. You know, wh who is this guy? So it was tough. And I had to, uh, I left L.A. And I, I talked about my cocaine addiction, too. So mm -hmm. that was a, a big problem at one point. But I gave that up. 